Generals, gentlemen. Hello, hello, wonderful people, and welcome to round number two, the second lot of the 1.6 patch world. Uh, we call it championships or finals championship. now. It is championships. Well, it's still thought, group, so. Yeah, so it's not really. Yeah, it's, it's the group. It's the, the beginning group stage bit. Of it. It's the start of the world championships, ladies and gentlemen. We are excited. So today we have Hodor as the pink g demolition on melting snow against the big scary. Bane as the green China nuke down the bottom right hand corner. So basically this is a best of five and we intend on doing the entire best of five so this should be quite interesting indeed. One thing I want to draw attention to which I think is cool is that Hodor is actually getting a, actually Rohan, we should call him Rohan, it is Rohan, yeah, it is, Rohan, is yeah. um, getting a fake barracks to wall off that. I don't know if he plans on actually upgrading that or just... Oh no, yeah, he's got, he's got a real barracks, the barracks there. there. So he basically, he's putting fake barracks to wall off his workers against trucks. That's a good move. Not only against trucks, but also... Nice. Oh, <laughs> nice there. Advanced demo trapping. <laughs> but not only against trucks, but also, I think, mainly against nuke battle masters. Nuke battle masters, they can't get in there and kill your workers if you've walled it off. They can still kind of, like, shoot over the wall or like um, spew radiation, but for the most part, a fake barracks will prevent um, harassment. Yeah, which is really nice, especially as it kind of denies the side movement of the nuke battlemasters, and look what we have out first. A nuke battlemaster, how very, very surprising. We weren't expecting that. Nuke battlemasters just really, really good yeah. against uh, GLA. Actually, oh, look at that advanced demo trap on the side there. That's quite nice. It's, it's clever, really, isn't it? Leaving a gap open, it's like, yeah, harass my workers. Just kidding, there's a supply, a demo trap there. So, will Bane actually fall into that trap? Does have the middle supply, but not his, um, the one in his base. So, a very aggressive open up, but not a bad choice, kind of then back taking the nuke master is battle masters moving in but actually i think there's another oh, no, hole the wrong way it's going the oh, wrong way oh man. there's a hole the hole no oh Murder. man that sucks H Hodor, unlucky right? rohan oh. rohan yes rohan really messed that up if he like didn't leave a gap there and then force him up yeah. here because he's going to lose that entire work line yeah i think it was just a misplaced oh, oh but that but that oh no hang on i was going to say that was a really awesome almost getting the barracks and the supply but he actually got the dozer there i think yeah not bad yeah he, he could have got it with a force fire, but killing yeah, the dozer is way more important than the barracks. I mean, he might even get it if you move that technical around the side. Oh, Bane, okay. though, does actually have his CC, so killing the dozer isn't necessarily a big deal. Marauder tanks are going to be a good choice here from Hodor. Getting scrap will make them incredibly powerful. Marauders are just really, really good against Battle Masters. But actually, this sneaky flame tank. Oh, gotta be careful, Hodor. That may kill a lot of your base here. And I don't think he'll run into the advanced demo trap either. It's out of oh, position. Boy, it looks like he's gonna have to move up those supply trucks as well. Bane is in some pretty serious trouble from Rohan at the moment. Yeah, that's some nice harassment here from Bane, actually. Hodor. Oh, Rohan. Rohan. God. That, like the wrong name every time, but actually losing that arms dealer is a pretty huge deal. Marauder tanks probably don't get there in time, but again, that's more and more scrap you're kind of giving to these marauders. Oh. Yeah, which is an another thing you've got to take in consideration. I mean, it's probably nice. I mean, you did get rid of that arms dealer, which is, of course, good. But that's a double scrap marauder, and that is scary in the early game. It's scary at any point. It's they scary are... against an overlord. <laughs> it's scary against everything. Like, I have nightmares. <laughs> about double scrap marauders. Of just waking up, and like, why does my head hurt? And then there's like a double scrap marauder, boom, 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 and I'm like, ah, stop it. So yeah, they're scary. I don't know where I was going with that. But these marauders are very powerful indeed, and they will destroy anything apart from RPGs or helixes. Yeah. And that is a good move from Bane. Seeing those marauder plays and going for the bunker helix is a good move because you really can't deal with marauders with just like outposts and battle masters. Yeah, it just doesn't work, especially once they get scrapped. But those RPGs, RPG troops are moving in now, but that's pretty good kiting there from Rohan moving in and out. He's going for the double scrap one, but I don't think he's going to get there just with the, the maneuverability of those uh, marauders. Well, I think... Oh, he's going to lose Oh, no, it. hang on. No, the outpost. He popped out a couple more. He's going to lose the double scrap. Nice, good choice. But, I mean, killing a war factory is usually a good trade. Oh, and he's actually, going to scout the airfield as well. Yeah, that's a very important because now Hodor knows it coming. He's probably going to stop building marauders and just churn out a whole bunch of cords. May even snipe another dozer and some trucks. So, yeah, like, cord coming out now and some RPGs. That's actually a good move here from Rohan. Playing this quite well. Yeah, that. Oh, I was gonna say that Battle Master almost getting taken out there. The Helix is out though now. 
But uh, yeah, of course, Hodo's scanning it, so he'll be getting those quads, and he's gonna snipe down some supply trucks. He's already got that dozer, he's going very, very well. Even without scrap, they're still pretty effective against trucks. Yeah. And uh, that tunnel should kill that battle master there. Yeah, so does. look, Bane's definitely on the back foot here, but he's getting that bunker helix, and that may be incredibly effective until Rohan gets quite a fair bit of these quads yeah. to of course deal with that. But still, only mining from one supply at the moment, having to sell that supply in the middle. And no horde upgrade on those those RPGs. Is just getting him into there too fast. The Hunk Hunters have no horde bonus yet, but he is going to manage to take out both of those marauders, which is quite nice. Yeah, that's very important there. So, meanwhile, Rohan doesn't have a palace, doesn't have any middle supplies, but I do like these demo placements. Like, they only cost 300, and you can kill a lot with that. Like, you know, if you get lucky. Yeah. And if you put them in a good spot, it's not hard to get lucky. Like, if you built one there. Um, but, I mean, the outpost will detect that, but yeah. more than likely, you won't see a lot of outposts from Nuke because Nuke Battle Master is just so good. And central supply here from Rohan's going to be poured. Whoa, that's a lot of quads. May snipe down the helix with the RPGs. That is it's definitely... Oh, this is not looking good at all for Bane. I, also... I might even call it. I, I, I quite like how Hodor, like, he split, or Rohan, he yeah. split, like, instantly. Because yeah. you, know, you really want to avoid that splash damage. And losing that helix, oh, that was a big deal. That's, that's basically... Big. That's all Bane really had going for him was that one bunker Pretty helix. Pretty much. Yeah, because that's nice. Because if you get them at the tunnel, split them immediately and then stop them. The helix not only has to reposition in the air and he's trying to snipe down a lot of units. He has to pick out the quads and then he ends up dying before it can do pretty much anything. So there's only there's only a couple of quads, a couple of RPGs, and it just took it out so fast. You've got to be so careful when you fly over a tunnel because you never know what's waiting. It could be quads or it could be like buggies. You just don't know until the evac and they've started gunning you down and you have to evac. So I'm not. Like Actually sure what Bane can do at this point. Like, I mean, yeah. he's, he's really on the back foot. Like, I don't know if he can get out some more nuke battle masters, that'd be nice, but I think um, Rohan's just gonna take control of that middle supply now. Getting the forward tunnel is oh, a very nice, nice move very as well. Good. And also that middle supply is, is gonna give Ro Rohan even more and more edge. And actually getting a second arms dealer. What? What that's, are you doing? <laughs> that's crazy. But that is cool. I like that. I love that indeed. Because double arms dealer means the GLA is going to be balls deep aggressive and that is what of course cool so perhaps Rohan is a CCG player because that is a common trait double arms dealer not something rare in CCG but in zero hour who does that why would you not just spam <laughs> 17 tunnels and quads and actually a technical that's Ooh. a tech terror yeah, I think that so. is a tech terror coming in oh it might get oh caught by Barely. the battle masters not quite that's um, gonna have free rain he might even get a force fire he may even get the airfield and the prop center and the dozer that is some bad placement there doesn't quite or cancels oh, at least that was good down. That so you quite good. get the airfield and uh, you're canceling the prop center that's very important because i don't think bane can really sort of hold this on no prop center tier Oh, he actually, oh, look at oh, that! the splash damage! He parked the technical right next to the supply truck. That's good placement. That's fantastic. Because it's kind of like, hey, um, hey, Bane, would you like me to kill your trucks, or would you like you to kill your trucks? The quads, though, are getting thrown away. That's yeah, probably not a good probably move. the smartest move. I'm not sure what he's going for there. Probably wanted to make sure he killed the supply truck or something. I'm not 100% sure. He's going for that dozer now, but, I mean, yeah, a bit of a surprising choice there. He's just kind of throwing them away. Yeah. Uh, the mines don't kill it in the end, so that's just giving vet as well. Because the other thing as well is vet is something people often don't appreciate. If you can get these units vetted, they do make a pretty big difference. But yeah, I think uh, Bane really needs some overlords or new cannons or something like that. Because against like a double arm dealer GLA, that has a pretty good economy. It has like his middle supply, getting his oil, I think, eventually. It can be hard to deal with. So uh, I think he needs some type of tech advantage. He's going for his prop center. That marauder is moving in now, and there's a couple of marauders as well. That, if you can get that splash damage down, yeah, I have to say, he didn't manage to get that Marauder yet. Can't shoot while moving. There's one definite weakness there, and these workers got to be careful. Actually, parking that near it, that's so, nice. yeah, that's, that's pretty good. But it's kind of evac. Well, that's, that's a new Marauder moving in. Yeah, these workers really should retreat. They don't want to lose them. Um, that Marauder will probably claim a kill there. Firing a couple of radiation shots on the workers may lose him if he's not careful. Well, the palace is going down there pretty fast. Yeah, Palace is getting started up now, so if you can get some RPGs into that Palace, then it's going to be very, very hard for Bane to push into that area. Demon Trap may get a couple of kills here. Nah, just like he's going for RPG, not really a big deal, but still paid off at least. So, Marauders are moving in with a couple of RPGs, quite a, even a Terrorist for support. Yeah, quite nice. It's going to force the uh, the Battle Master around the side, may actually get the worker. No, the ah. Palace does finish. That's pretty important. For a time. And now another push here. Flame Tank will clear the garrisons and may even just firewall down that supply. Oh, that nice detonate actually killing... 
two of those new battle masters, and that one looks quite cool. get caught out. He's going to try and run into the corner, but it's not going to be enough. The quads will catch it out eventually. Something will grab it. Yeah, that's why, of course, one weakness of um, new battle masters, they do detonate, which can be incredibly detrimental when you have, like, a, a chain. Um, oh, what's it called? The, when you have a lot chain of. Chain detonation, if you have, like, yeah, a group. Um, exactly. Of them, so. And it kind of blows up the entire line. I've been there yeah, before. It's and dangerous. The thing is to keep in mind here, Bane is playing a very risky game. He doesn't actually have any um, isotope. Because, well, he doesn't have isotope because he doesn't have the prop center. He tried to, got denied. And now without isotope, he has to be very careful with his micro. If these battle masters get too split up, he may just lose them all, especially with how good marauders are at sniping down um, battle masters from afar. Somehow that survived though. Yeah, I think no, I don't think um, Rohan actually moved in to try and kill it, which means it's gonna move up. But I mean that palace is there, and I'm pretty sure yep. yeah, there's some RPGs in it now, if not before. So. So it'll be harder for him to harass that. And now, I mean, once these battle masters get hold oh, that might be another tech terror coming in though. Yeah, that's a pretty low battle master. We win their um hold bonus. They're pretty scary. There are mar no, dodges it. What's he going for? Oh man, Rohan, nice play. You can keep denying that. Look at that, denied the second prop center. <laughs> He didn't even lose his terrorists. That's just nice no, play. That's fantastic. I think denying these prop centers is going to be so important for lack of battle masters. Moving into the tunnel here, will Rohan pop some marauders out? He is, oh, he's going now. ham, popping everything out here. Will he snipe them down? There goes one of them, I think. Bursting. Oh. The chain. Oh, the chain damage there. Okay, he only lost one, so that's not too bad. But he did trade that for a um, marauder, and that is a, a good trade. Marauders cost more, I think, so actually didn't go as bad as I thought. I thought it was going to be a lot worse there for Bane. Does have a Vet 2 Battle Master, and those are pretty powerful. Yeah, that's quite nice now. So definitely doesn't want to lose it to a chain uh, upgrade, but there's a Battle Bus moving oh, in! Nice. Oh dear! Nice work, Rohan. That Battle Bus is awesome. It may actually take them down. That's doing a lot of damage. Oh! Look how low Man, they are! Rohan, you lucky, son. You lucky. <laughs> Like, if, if those battle masters, if one of them dies, the rest of them will die. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's a Jarman in that, though. Yeah, no, no Jarman, unfortunately. Not, no, no sniping coming out so far. Gotta be careful of that splash damage on the battle, battle bus. I'm not sure if that tank. Can, can we see another? Oh, no, because the battle bus can shoot up there. It doesn't look like the new battle bus can shoot down, though. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Maybe it's to do with, like, rockets attacking air or something. Yeah, it must be. I don't know. So. Look, Bane isn't looking too strong here. All he has are these battle masks. He doesn't even have these second supply trucks. Getting his prop sensor now. Will he, he actually... He really wants it. Will he finish oh, it this the, time? Look, the oh, technical's man. coming in. Please, if you denied this, Rohan. If he does. Rohan, please. Rohan, please. Oh, no. And there's mines, oh, though. Oh, he's be careful with the mines. Oh, he might run into them. I think he's going to. No, nah, he did. Oh, no. He Bummer. lost his RPG. That sucks. So, we'll see you completed. Uh, prop center there, quite nice there from Bane. Oh we do see God. the board upgrade on those nuke battle masters. But if that battle master can even snipe one, they can pretty much take out the entire army. How good's your battle bus, Marco? Will be enough to take them all out. There goes whoa, oh, one of them. The damage. Almost those barely escaping. Look how close they are to chain detonation. Bane, lucky. So far, has only lost one, and he's just so close. I don't know whether to put that down to micro or like yeah, your luck. Like, we'll have to but see. But still, I mean, Bane, look, finally has his prop center. Yeah. He may just get this isotope, and once he gets the isotope, he should be fine. But still, even with isotope, Marauders and battle buses are really good against yeah. nuke battle masters. Yeah, he's in trouble. Those, battle buses. Yeah, those battle buses can actually get past, can actually get a circle strafe going on those nuke battle masters, or can even get to the side of them. He's gonna be in some serious trouble. That 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 chain reaction will go down. And so only through sheer luck that he's managed to not lose any of them so far. And that's two battle buses coming out. That'll be enough to deal with the entire army. I think battle buses is a good choice. Oh, that's a fantastic choice. To do even it with those. That, yeah, he really needs ECMs, and there's no ECMs out yet. ECMs, Lotus, um, even Migs in the good units, with none of which Bane actually has. Until he does, then he isn't going to really have any way of dealing with that. So no all capture, but these two battle buses are going to be good harassment. Cover Bomb is moving in, though, so it's an arty strike into the supply line. Okay, looks like the big battle bus is going to be moving in up the top now. The Marauders are chipping away at the army, though. Oh, no explosion. isotope! No isotope there. That was a quite painful Cover Bomb. Not really a big deal. The barricade kind of nullifying. They didn't really lose anything other than the workers. And uh, more battle masters are moving in. The ACM is going to be quite Ooh, nice. There's a lot of RPGs in that though. If you can get the splash damage down to a couple of those battle masters. Yeah, there goes one of them to the tunnel, I think. And he's so low to losing more. Oh, I lost another one. Look how low they are now. If you can move in some battle, uh, some battle buses from the side, but at the same time, oh, what? hands in his base. Yeah. Rohan's absolutely chipping away at this command center, and this is not looking good at all for Bane. They are absolutely chock a block full. Has an ex Oh, oh my might... another one. Maybe. Oh, oh god. Okay. <laughs> no, I think he GG'd. He GG'd. It wasn't the actual explosion from the Battle Masters, but... Wow. 
Rohan Impressive played game. that well. He played it very well. It basically, he he won because Bane had nothing but battle masters, but it's like, well, it wasn't his fault. Yeah. He tried to get like um, I hope he tried yeah. to get overlords like two times. <laughs> yeah, but he just kept losing his tech yeah. terrors. One of the strengths of GLA Demolition is like you really have to be aggressive, and even like despite Bane losing, uh, Ro Rohan losing that first yeah. worker line. To a, a new battle master, which usually sets the GLA back a lot if you lose that first work line. He's still caught up pretty well. Yeah, that was a really nice initial battle master, actually. Bit of an unfortunate placement there from Rohan on his yeah. arm stealer. But uh, I think the battle master was a good transition. Oh, that I was a really that. nice transition, especially given he already knew he denied the prop center, so he knew nothing else would come out. So the battle master was pretty much perfect to take out the new battle mm. masters. I mean, it, that, those engagements could have gone so so far Rohan's way several times when those nuke battle yeah. masters were on like one HP yeah. it's just like one half a rocket would pretty much get the kill I mean I think a ranger's rifle could have got the kill at that point probably <laughs> or a rebel's rifle that's even worse <laughs> oh. rebel's are pretty bad maybe even a sentry drone <laughs> yeah I think, yeah good game um, what was Rohan. I going to say battle buses are something you don't really seem to see a lot in 1.6 because they've been nerfed they're no longer absolutely oh, broken, broken and just yeah. ruin everything they're, they're pretty balanced now so it seems you don't really see them a lot but they definitely have their place so they're definitely very strong because they're fast like they're powerful and they're fast. I mean, scorpions are fast, but they're not powerful. Marauders yeah. are powerful, but they're not fast, and they can't follow moving. The battle masters are good. Uh, battle buses are good. They're good to mix in with yeah. like um, marauders and like and um, cords or whatever. Whatever you really have in your army. So nice play from uh, Rohan. But Bane, you know, he tried, but of course those tech terrors were too much yeah, for him to deal strong. with. So let's move on to game number two and see how they deal with that. So game number one to Rohan. Let's we'll see how the rest of the series pans out. Nice, good play.